Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk about and demonstrate various rules of thumb and tips on how to be gentle to the breadboard when you're building circuits and taking apart circuits. So one of the first things you want to keep in mind is when you strip your wire, you always want to strip about a quarter inch off the end. So about like that. That's about a quarter inch or so. And that ensures that when you stick the wire into the breadboard, that it doesn't go in too far and get tangled up with the contacts and potentially damage them when you pull them back out. So here I can insert my wire carefully and it goes in just the right distance. You also want to make sure that if you're reusing wires that the tip of the wire here is nice and straight. If it's bent it can sometimes catch on the contacts inside and that will make it difficult to pull out. So the same is true with with other components like if I wanted to stick a capacitor into the breadboard Gently, don't ever force it in. Just you know, wiggle it a little bit until it goes in easily, and push until you encounter some resistance, and then that should be plenty. And when you pull it out, you don't ever want to pull out forcefully either. You always want to pull out straight and gently. If you encounter resistance, try to basically carefully wiggle it around and work it out. So, same thing is true for any other components you would use. When it comes to uh, integrated circuits, like the picks that we use in, in our class, um, for instance this dip package, they're very easy to insert into the, into the board. Basically place it into the holes and just push in until it snaps into place. However, they are somewhat difficult to actually remove from the board. If you actually try to go rip it out like this with your fingers, what will happen is you'll tend to bend the pins on the pick, potentially break them off. So to avoid that, um, they make these useful I see chip pullers basically that you can grab on either side of the chip and squeeze and work out the chip like that. So if you don't have a chip puller handy you can use any other kind of tool like a screwdriver um, and what you want to do is work under the chip carefully on both sides to release it from the board and then you can pull it out by hand.